Hey, Michael here from Beer Baseball Blog, The Adventures of Craft Beer and Baseball. This is a Beer Baseball Blogcast, episode 26 for October 27th, 2020. <clears throat> Wherever you are watching us live today, please give us a like and a comment. Let us know that you're out there. And as always, we'd appreciate if you subscribe and turn on notifications. Here is the lineup card for today. Angelo Trinidad from Aliso Viejo, California. Welcome. Hey, everyone. Kevin Lyon, Anaheim, California. Welcome. Good evening from the OC. <laughs> and a, uh, a pitcher who I, I'm putting him in the third hole tonight, Daniel from the All <laughs> wow. Angels podcast, a secret What's weapon. Thank you for joining yeah, us. There you go. There you go. Wow. I'll, I'll bat third. I don't have no problem with that. That's our, our, <laughs> our universal DH. Yeah, okay. yeah exactly. <laughs> we didn't Which bring the our last show, but I was like, one thing that the Universal DH would get rid of is the double switch. <laughs> I didn't get there you go. It's a, so we're, we, we will not double switch you, Daniel. All right, okay. Good. okay. I like that. I like that. <laughs> okay. I'm Michael Mondragon from Sierra Madre, California. And uh, so let's get straight into it and uh, see what everybody is drinking tonight. So, uh, Kevin, well, I'll, oh, I'll start with you. That was me. All right. I just popped up this. I got Trader Joe's. This is. Smog Toberfest because this smog city brewing out of I believe Torrance, California. So I just popped something I try it. It's a festival lager, Oct uh, Oktoberfest style beer, and it's 5.5 percent ADV. I didn't see an IBU on this, but it's in a lager. It'll be pretty light. So let me pour it into my beer baseball mug and let's see how this is. Talk amongst yourselves. This might take a moment here because I want to be very <laughs> nice. Try this. Yeah, Chad. Chad M is on, so he's a uh, he's our uh, our, our not our mysterious benefactor, but benefactor nonetheless. How, how is it's that? Very good. Thank you. This is very good. It's a nice special lager. Good to enjoy a late day here at the end of October. Yeah. So, and uh, so this is for uh, Oktoberfest, obviously, right? But, um, you know, it's funny because, like, uh, it would have been fun to go to some Oktoberfest type of events this year, but well, I guess we're going to have to wait till next year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We can wait. We can wait. We'll drink the no. beers. I didn't want to go Oktoberfest much to begin with. <laughs> People get very sloppily drunk. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be around that. It pre COVID. I don't know if I want to be around that, let alone now. Yeah, definitely. All right, Angelo, you're up. So tonight I am uh, drinking Mother Earth Brewing Co. Their Cali Cream and Creamsicle edition. So last uh, week I drank the vanilla cream ale. Tonight I have the orange creamsicle, and, and Kevin, you're absolutely right. As much as I liked the vanilla cream uh, last week, the orange creamsicle is uh, that much better. It's so good. tasty. So this yeah. one's um, this one's a five percent ABV with the twenty IBU. So last week I mentioned the vanilla was so strong um, in the the vanilla cream ale last week that I don't think I could sit there and drink like an entire pack of that one. Uh, this one, it's the the orange and the the cream the creamsicle is uh, subtle yet present so I definitely think this is something I could um, sit and drink you know you know all night long um, best comparison would be um, um, a much lighter blue moon uh, with a with the or with the or you know with the orange slice in there uh, but the orange is a little bit more apparent and there's also some uh, light vanilla in there too so but really really good oh, right Definitely on. And I'm yeah. not recommend that. Yeah, and I haven't had that one yet. Uh, had the had the other one, obviously, but the uh, but this one is uh, really intrigues me for uh, for sure. So, uh, Daniel, why, why don't you go real quick before I do mine? Go yeah, ahead, you... so this was kind of a last minute, so I didn't have a chance to uh, go to the store and, and check it out today. I ran a little late off of work, so just a good old classic Bud Light right now for me. But no, I, I, you know, I had the uh, what was it Modern Times on Saturday when I was on last, and yeah, I really right. enjoyed that. I ended up finishing that Sunday night. You know, in hindsight, being twenty twenty, if I would have known that, I would just saved it and rolled it over to today. But yeah, I'm I'm the new guy wrecking everything. <laughs> no, you're good. Yes, hey. You had the fruit lands. You you're all like, all right, yes. you're representing. Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. That's no, the, you... that's the most recent one I had, and I, I definitely enjoyed it, and definitely going to pick it up again. Um, like I said, yeah, I, I finished it off yesterday watching the game, and so uh, I was actually when Michael texted me about me coming on today, I was like, I'm the I'm the last can. I was like, ah, 
crap. Oh well. Hey. You're like, might as well finish it. Hide it. This is the, 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 <laughs> this is what I say about Bud Light all the time. It may not be the best, but it still does the job. Exactly. That's right. it, you know, yeah. it's kind of always always there when I need it to be. So it's it's cool. It's cool. It, it worked out. <laughs> Cowboy hey, Jack says, yes, "Don't fear shame." Don't fear shame. Oh, there you go. Well, hey. I did not fear shame. I, I was well, full. I did not. I did, we were, it was. It was a mere uh, 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 ball busting, if you will. Can I say that on here? Yeah, we're yeah, good. Right. We're well, you did, so it's okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for joining us, Jan- Daniel. Again. Awesome. So uh, my beer tonight is Breaking Bud, the IPA from Knee Deep Brewing in Auburn, California. I uh, believe Auburn is just uh, north of Sacramento. And uh, this is one that I've had. Uh, I've had a couple times. Um, and it's got it, it, it's it's uh, one thing I noticed about it. It was uh, pretty bitter um, in, in a good way. Uh, real uh, kind of piney in a, in a sense as well. Mm-hmm. And, um, as like layers of mango, passion fruit and, uh, oh. and, uh, that pine that, that you, you can definitely taste in there. So definitely one to check out. Obviously it's, uh, based on the, the breaking bad. Uh, I believe that they even ran into some trouble, uh, because oh. of that. There was some, uh, litigation, uh, about it, but, um, obviously it's still here. So uh, yeah. I think they probably got past it, but, uh, cheers to everyone. Thank cheers. you so much. Michael, uh, what's yeah. the number on that? Is that an IPA? I'm assuming it is. It's uh, 50 IBU and uh, and uh, 6.5 ABV. My God, yeah. So not not right, probably right in my a little bit under the IBU that I usually like. Um, not too far, but um, but I think you would enjoy good. this a lot. But it's tiny, so that that makes it interesting. Right on. Yeah, and uh, so we have. Um, uh, Ed has joined us tonight. A cavalcade of stars, absolutely. Chad M, hey, as we said hey, before. Hey, Chad. Bubble Pug, always here, and thank you for joining. Uh, Cowboy Jack, Jack making making his presence uh, here. Uh, wow. Breaking necks wow. and cashing checks. Kevin Lyon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm blocked. I get flex. I'm blocking the block here, man. <laughs> David joining us. Thank you. And uh, Colin, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you for, uh, you know, taking a break from uh, that other thing that's going on that's pretty There's important. There's going on. There's some debate going on tonight too. Apparently, I didn't know that till I had to be earlier. Yeah, so. you know, I mean, Bachelorette. Spo- you can find Bachelorette spoilers anywhere, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> right. so. Thank you. Yeah. Angela would be the one watching Bachelorette after this, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I watch. Hey, I watch it on Saturdays with my wife when she's off work. That's right. <laughs> you do your That's due diligence. Good job. <laughs> All right. So this is the right. day uh, in baseball history for October 27th. Let's go for it. October 27th, 1985, oh. the Royals become the sixth team to overcome a 3-1 deficit to win the Fall Classic when uh, series oh. MVP Brett Saberhagen becomes a new dad a day before and blanks the Cardinals on five hits and they win 11 to nothing. As a 15-year-old, oh. this was heartbreaking because yep. the day before, uh, the Don Denkinger call uh, yeah. Which I've gotten over, by the way. You can get yeah. over these calls. Uh, it's okay. I actually saw a oh, yeah. um, uh, yeah. something on, I think it was on ESPN, where they went, kind of went over kind of what uh, Don Denkinger went through. He seemed like a really nice guy, made a mistake, and uh, the death threats, and and uh, right. it, it was it, it kind of made me soft, you know, uh, you know, and, and be okay with like, hey, people make mistakes, yeah. and that's part of baseball too, making the mistakes. Yeah. So. Yep, absolutely. And then, so, if can you go, go, if back, go, if go back because, in the last photo, if you sure. go, yeah, go back in the last photo, I'm ask Daniel, can, uh, somebody. If, if all the Angel fans should notice the guy yep. uh, to, yep. to the left, yep. uh, a young Mark Gubaza yes. um, yeah, celebrating, you. and for for an Angel fan, that that at least for me uh, was what uh, stood out right away with that yeah. flowing hair. And if you've seen any of his photos from his playing days, he had that yeah. mullet. I was going to ask because he looks if you recognize it because I'm like that's Gooby. Yeah, I want to recognize him right away. Who's 15 with a shiny dome there? That's what I need to know. That is Steve Balboni. <laughs> oh, my God, Steve Balboni. Wow. Thank you for yep. that. Nah, my pleasure. <laughs> Kansas City is the first team in the World Series history to lose its first two games at home, then come back to win the World Championship. So um, uh, 30 years later, they would uh, win the World Championship again. They yeah, won it in yeah. uh, 2015. Yep. Very good. With another dramatic comeback on October 27, 1986, the Mets defeat the Red Sox 8-5 to to win Game 7 of the World Series and become the world champions for the second time in 
franchise's 25-year history. The series will always be remembered for Bill Buckner's game uh, error in Game Six, um, but a uh, few remember that there was a game after that. Yeah, uh, it's like the you know, game. and they they had a chance to uh, to get it back. I, I mean, the Cardinals did too. The, they lost that Game Six, and hey. they could have won it, so they lost eleven nothing. <laughs> you know, in '86, remember the Angels had two more chances to beat the Red Sox after the Donnie Moore, Dave Henderson thing. You know, yeah, they had to go back to yeah. Boston. They lost two in Boston, so. I wonder who, but that boy had to wear Mike '86 on his jersey there. <laughs> well, I think if you look at if you look at the 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 guy next to him, he has '86 too. So obviously yeah, those are the bat boy. No, the, well, yeah. it, oh, I thought it said BB. So yeah, you're right, '86. <laughs> yeah. At least he has his name on there. That's cool. Is that you, Mike? I wish. I, I, I wish that would have been. Were you Arizona Firebirds, or were they the? Uh, or, I'm sorry, the Phoenix Firebirds or Phoenix They're, Giants? No, they they were the the Phoenix Giants, but then they were the fire uh, Phoenix Firebirds the next year. But I, I wasn't involved with them. Okay. Um, yeah, and we just we just wore shirts. By the way, we didn't have a jerseys. Yeah. Um, the real thing. Yeah. Third baseman Ray Knight, who is named the World Series MVP, makes amends for an earlier error by hitting a home run, which puts the Mets ahead uh, for good in the seventh inning. Uh, Ray Knight married to Ray Lopez. That's right. Well, it's it, uh, Nancy Lopez, that's but that's what Jim Rome used to call him, Ray yes. Lopez. Because his, his wife was uh, more Nancy, famous than he was. Nancy, there. her name? Sorry, Nancy. Is that her first name? Nancy Lopez. Yeah, she was a professional was like golfer. Female golfer. Yeah, so, yeah. I always remember that. But this is one of the most craziest teams ever. There's, there's definitely some good. I think there's a book out on the now, which I would love to read. Or if you have time later, go to YouTube and just look the, look up the last famous plane ride. Is, yeah. is that what it's called? The last infamous so. plane ride. It's yeah. an amazing story about. That team celebrating their game six NLCS and winning the championship series over the Astros after one of the greatest games ever. And the plane ride is insane. Yeah. And and especially when you have a guy like this. Now I want I want to cue in oh, on no. this. Uh, oh, Lenny no. Dykstra. <laughs> <laughs> just, and look, uh, yeah. Looking at his picture. Uh, yeah. you may not have seen that in the big picture, but that, that's a pretty amazing. I had to make mention of this. <laughs> From my hometown, born in born in Garden Grove in the double G. <laughs> <laughs> October 27th, 1989, after a 10-day delay due to the Loma Prieta earthquake, the World Series resumes with the A's beating the Giants in Game 3, 13-7. Oakland joins the 1928 Yankees as, the as only the second team in Major League history to hit five home runs in a World Series contest. So, uh, Angela, were, were you living up there at this time? Uh, yeah, I was. Um, I yeah, I was there. I mean, I was in '89. I was five years old, six okay. years old. So yeah, I was living up there at this time. Do you, do you remember anything uh, around this or no, no? No, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I didn't really start getting into probably not till like '91, '92. So this was a couple years before. Um, but yeah, no, I don't have any recollection of this at all. Not even the earthquake. Cause that was such a big thing up there. Oh, the, the earthquake. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. That's what I was curious about too. Cause that was like the real big overarching story and everything, you know? Oh, I, re I remember exactly where I was in the earthquake. Yeah. So. Oh, was that right? Series, obviously. You know? Yeah. Well, yeah, well, I was, well, I was watching Mr. Rogers. Ah, <laughs> there you go. Wow. I was six years old. Yeah. Watching yeah. Mr. Rogers. And... In the afternoon because it wasn't yeah. like five, five, 15, something like yeah. that. Right before started. And yeah. like, I just remember seeing the chandelier, um, shaking in the in the dining room and then we all and then we and then i just we all my grandma like made us all go outside which was like probably the wrong thing to do yeah. <laughs> and everyone was just like in the cul-de-sac like what's happening what's going on and that what, was yeah where in the bay area were you living at that point i was in stockton at that point okay so, so you were, we're about yeah we, i mean we we're like you know 90 miles from the right. or 90 minutes rather from the epicenter right. but it was still crazy. I mean, we could yeah. still feel it. Oh, yeah. I mean, even that 4.4, like whatever it was, Michael and I and some other friends, we were on a Zoom call, and everyone was, like, running for their lives, and it was like, <laughs> you know, like, it wasn't that big of a quake, but because it was so, we were so close to the epicenter, it felt like a big jolt, right. you know? Yeah. Chad M brings up the fact on our last fact that uh, he used to own a car wash in Simi Valley. That's absolutely right. And, awesome. And in Corona, California as well. Yep. Yeah. 
I wish I could have got that one in Corona. I was, I, I was, I was bummed <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> I got, I had my license and my car. I think after that place closed down, I would love to get a car washed by that place. Oh yeah, definitely. So October 27th, 1991, in Game 7 of the Worst to First World Series, the Twins beat the Braves one to nothing when Dan Gladden scores the I'll winning run in the bottom of the 10th inning on Gene Larkin's single, clinching its second world championship since, re uh, since relocating from Washington, D.C. in 1961. Man. Atlanta and Minnesota <laughs> both had finished Whoa. in last place oh, in their God. respective divisions the previous season. So this was actually uh, – it's so funny. Like, I found this picture, but if you watch this play, it, does, it doesn't really look like this, but this looks so right. dramatic. Uh, right. But it was yeah, a pretty it was a pretty cool photo. play, yeah, well, and a great a great picture. And am nice, I correct? Not, not, he's, he spiked on that one. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Michael, am I correct? Is this the game where Lonnie Smith made the base running mistake and that pretty much cost the Braves? Is that this game? I don't think it was this game. I think that he might have okay. done it earlier in that series, maybe okay. like game three, because I, I saw that. Because that, that was because yeah. it was game two that, that uh, Ron Gant had his leg lift off the bag. I think it was oh, game yeah. three, the Lonnie Smith one. Okay, um, I'll think it was during the series. Because Lonnie Smith was like this great player, happened to be on good teams, and he did really well in the postseason, but he made that mistake, which more or less killed the – Yeah, he got deked. He got he, uh, he got deked oh. by, the, uh, yeah. by the second baseman, right? Yeah. That was bad. So Jack Morris goes the distance in that game, a 10 inning game uh, uh, of the World Series, blanking the Braves 1 0 uh, in the Twins' 10 inning oh dramatic walk off win. Yeah, that's totally missed on here. If you ever go back and watch this game, it is amazing uh, to watch. It's it's high drama. It's one of the, the best World Series games ever, um, and especially for a game seven. Just picture any picture now going 10 shutout innings in a, in a playoff game. That'd be yeah. in, or uh, nearly it, impossible. At any yeah, game, let alone a playoff game. game. But yeah, yeah. any game. <laughs> and this is not like a young Jack Morris. You know, Jack Morris was like a mate, was like on fire. If, I don't think he won the Cy Young, but he was right up there at 84. It's like a 20 game winner of the 84 Tigers when he won the World Series then. He was so dominant. Here he is seven years later. You know, and obviously, you know, aged a little bit too. He almost looks like the manager of a major league there. You know, I was yeah. thinking the same thing. <laughs> You know, just a little younger, but yeah, you you may want to check my facts. But what didn't he? What did he go to the Blue Jays after this? I mean, the Blue Jays were good after oh, this as well. He won a World Series after this. Yeah, I, I think I, so. I think so. So you might want to check my facts on that. But uh, I, I I seem to remember that. So the thirty he's thirty six here, the thirty six wow. year old right hander oh who posts a two and zero record along with a one point one seven ERA. <sighs> During his three starts, is named the most valuable player of the World Series. Uh, I bet if you bring it up to most uh, baseball fans these days, like no, people wouldn't even know who Jack Morris is. <laughs> oh, check this out: Jack Morris won four World Championships. Wow! Because he was on the Blue Jays in ninety two and ninety three when they won the World Series. He won three straight World Series titles between the Twins and the Blue Jays. Damn, that was one hell of a run. Yeah, yeah. that's and that's he was amazing. the World Series MVP in ninety one as well. To add that little fun fact in there. Right. There you go. That's pretty All impressive. Right. Very impressive. And I believe, is he in the Hall of Fame now? Uh, that I don't know. You might have to check that. Uh, I don't see it, but God, he has 254 wins, 2,500 strikeouts. I'm like, yeah, believe it or not, he's, yeah, he is. I'm sorry. I thought he made it. He made it like two years ago because of that, the new com oh, that's uh, right. committee, the modern era committee. That's why I knew. I'm like, wait, I think he's in. Definitely. So. Hell of a picture though. Yeah. So October 27th, 1999, the Yankees behind solid pitching of Roger Clemens sweep their second straight World Series, beating the Braves. The poor Braves. Yeah, right. <laughs> they uh, they got beat yeah. a lot. In the, they were really good, and they got beat a lot in this decade, unfortunately. Atlanta joins the New York Giants uh, from 1910 to 1919 <laughs> uh, as the only uh, teams to lose four World Series oh. in a decade. No. So, if you remember correctly, this is when all that John Rocker stuff went down. Oh, it was. Yeah. Which, the inspiration for Eastbound and Down, so we got that to think for this. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. October 27th, this hey. should be uh, very familiar to all you. Uh, in 2002, in the team's 42nd season, the Angels finally win a World Series title by beating the Giants 
four to one in game seven at Edison Field. Yeah. I forgot that it was called Edison Field ad. at that time. The big ad. Yep. Garrett Anderson's three run double provides enough offense for John uh, John Lackey to become the first rookie to win rookie. the seventh game. Uh, since 1909, when Babe Adams accomplished the feat for the Pirates, I forgot that he was a, a rookie. Yeah. It seems I like he's been he around for like 100 years. John oh, yeah. <laughs> that game was that game was really nice to watch. The game seven, but you know, game six I think has to take the cake for yeah. um, best game in that series. Yeah. Uh, the comeback from game six was just unbelievable, and then you know, just you know, I don't necessarily believe momentum from game to game. You know, the momentum to your next day's pitcher kind of thing, but. I don't know. It was just different about that. You just felt like it was going to carry over and it's just, yeah. you know, it was, it was absolutely crazy. Yeah. Teams don't usually fare too well when they lose like a dramatic game six. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, the, the Red Sox and, and the one we just talked about, um, well, I mean the Texas Rangers, you know, losing to the Cardinals in 2011. Right. What's that Kevin? Yeah. I was going to say, you could talk about that Rays game that they won on was it Friday. You know, and they Saturday. didn't win the next game, you know? Yeah. Saturday, People yeah. Were like, oh, my gosh, that could have killed the Dodgers. And the Dodgers came back to win the next game, you know? Yeah, and there's other things in that as well. Like, for instance, like, uh, what, two years ago, that 18-inning that game, uh, yep. the Dodgers won, and and yep. then the the, the, the Red Sox, it, it didn't it – didn't, they just won the next yep. game and the next yeah, game. Yeah, so. like, yeah, whatever. Even right, whatever. totally. So um, Ed calls uh, the the uh, is Ed yeah, calling absolutely. the Atlanta Braves yeah. the Buffalo Bills? The Buffalo Bills absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And that's hey. you know, honestly, and that's one dis uh, discussion, not discussion, but like I think I bring up with a lot of friends is like, would you rather have a team that you root for, like the Braves, where they're constantly getting there, they're constantly having good yeah. teams, but they just can't seem to get over the hump, or like a team like say the Marlins, where you know they have a bunch of just really really bad years, but the two times they were in the playoffs before this year, they win the World Series. It's like. I, you know, which one would you rather have as a fan, knowing that once you're in, you're going to make a serious run, or or a team that is consistently good but just can never get over that final hump? Yeah, I, I mean that's the way. Uh, I mean, because I follow the Cardinals, um, yeah. I'd rather I, I like it. I I like it when obviously they they get to the World Series. I mean, that's uh, not all. Not every team gets to the World Series, right? But right. Uh, the one thing you could say about the Braves is they put out a competitive team every year. Every so year. and that's all you can ask for. You know, because uh, you ne you never know. It's it's uh, it's a gamble every single year of well, who's actually going to win. At least the Braves won a series. They did at least win one. But think about Dodger. You know, the Dodger World Series right now. How many Dodger fans are there right now that weren't even alive or too young to remember 1988? That's yeah. 32 years ago. And they, yeah. is their third time in the World Series in the last four or five years? They made the playoffs of every year. You know how that that's more of a guess to me. Like, would you rather? Have a team that won one, or would you rather have a team that consistently is in the playoffs and knocking on the door? You know, right? And we'll yep. see what happens now. We'll see what happens after this week. And yes, Cowboy Jack, uh, uh, Danny Glover, Angels in the Outfield. Yes, fun I, fact about that movie, Angels in the Outfield. Uh, my co-host for the All Angels podcast, Johnny, yeah. um, he was actually actually at the game, one of the games that they were they filmed for the movie. So there's like a scene right. where you see fans like run in through the turnstiles and, and he's like one of the first kids that are actually running through that turnstile. That's awesome. Awesome. Nice. We got a movie star. Very good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very Chad M throws a, uh, yeah. a shout oh, out yeah. to David Eckstein who yeah. won the world series MVP in 2006. Yeah. Which is yeah. ironic because on this there date <laughs> at the new Bush stadium, uh, this is Bush stadium, actually three. Um, I say one, uh, two. Yeah. Three. Hey, uh, yeah, exactly. So I actually went to the last games of Bush Stadium 2 in 2005. Uh, at the new Bush Stadium, the Cardinals beat the heavily favored Tigers 4-2 to two in Game 5 of the World Series to win uh, their – it says to win their first World Championship since – oh, to win their first World Championship since 1982. I'm like, it's not their first World Championship yeah. <laughs> where I got yeah. this information from. Uh, I forgot that long in between. Wow. Yeah, oh, look at yeah. that. Because oh, look at that. Oh. And look, who's on the, look at the name. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, why, that's why I put it <laughs> on there. <laughs> Either one. So, I, mean, I mean, St. Louis started to be like uh, Angels East for a, for a while there. That's right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. And uh, 
And so, so they were in 82 and then they were in 85 uh, against the Royals. They were 87 against the twins. Yeah. Um, they had a really a great teams that went to the uh, NLCS, but uh, yeah. never got back there till 2006. But ironic because uh, with a 83 and 78 record, St. Louis, who had lost 10 of their last 14 uh, regular season games. By the way, I was in Houston while they were uh, going on this losing streak, and uh, they they were losing games in like the ninth inning. It was crazy. Wow. Were they still the, the Astros then? They were still, yeah, yeah. Oh uh, they won that. fewer games than any World Series champion ever in baseball history. So this is statistically the worst World Series uh, winner of all time. Congratulations wow. to your team. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> hey, but uh, as I say, like uh, Dodger fans will take this shortened season victory, yep. right? So exactly. I guess, I guess yep. they all count. They all count. There's no asterisk. There's no asterisk. Yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like when they say, like, what, what do you call someone that graduated last in their medical class? Like, oh, yeah, you still call them a doctor. <laughs> doctor, yeah. exactly. Yeah, it doesn't matter. There's, there's nothing on your certificate that says 199 of 199 or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so speaking of the Cardinals in World Series. Oh, of course. The Red Sox win the first oh. World Series ever to end on a pickoff. Beating the Cardinals four to two in Game Four of the World Series, Colton Wong, a 23-year-old rookie, pinch hitting, uh, pinch running uh, rather uh, for Alan Craig, is caught off first base, ending the Bush Stadium contest with the dangerous Carlos Beltran at the plate. He probably would have whiffed. Oh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that was, this one was tough. There was some trash can lids going on. <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. Yeah, but that this was uh this one this one hurt. Um but uh wow. man, Bo but Boston has um Bo Boston has our number in the World Series. They 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 beat the Cardinals in uh, 2004 as well. So yeah. So So we're going to end with this one. This is October 27th, 2015. Oh, really? Michael Conforto becomes the third player to accomplish the World Series Triple Crown playing wow. in the Little League World Series the College World Series, and the Major League Baseball World Series. Nice. Kevin has his I hand up. I have to jump in because I literally just saw a graphic that Kevin Cash, the manager of the the Rays, played in the Little League World Series, and he played in the College World Series. Kevin, wow. j j j Kevin, on top of the stats. I just literally saw the graphic right now. I'm like, that's a fun stat. And literally, you mentioned this. I'm like, Sure, he's managing, but you know what? He's there. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're gonna make mention like, of the. Uh, wasn't Bellinger in the Little League World Series too? He was. He's in this World oh. Series, but I don't think he was in the College World Series. So. No, right. I, mean, I think he's. Yeah. Right. I think he's so, nice. Yeah, yeah he's cool. The other two oh, major yeah. leaguers who have oh. participated in the rare event are Jason Veritek oh. and Ed Vosberg. So, uh, do any <laughs> does anybody recognize Ed Vosberg at all? I no. I didn't I, I thought he's like a Yankee or something. I don't remember being on the, on the Padres. I remember the name. So uh, he actually played with the '97 Marlins. So uh, so therefore, uh, and now you're saying uh, what? Cash, you said, is, is now now part of this elusive club. I guess so. I mean, do you count managing a team? I uh, well, I mean, it, uh, I guess these are players. Play. These are players, play, I guess. But, yeah, it would be it would be tough to manage a little league team. So I guess I guess it would count. Played, he played, in the world series, played for Florida State in the College World Series, and it showed him. You now he's a manager. So good yeah, job. Definitely, but um, yeah. since we're talking about these players, uh, yes. I wanted to mention my favorite Jason Veritek play. Oh, are you are you ready for this? Of course and and I, uh, I bet I bet you guys might agree. It's when he punched A Rod in the I face. <laughs> yes, that's the one I was thinking of. Yeah, <laughs> looks like a rank of the eye to me. Is it? It does. Is it me? It does. Or is it just it kind of focused. funny that so A Rod hard. can go from, you know, being suspended and like the 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 villain of baseball to now he's like on ESPN and Fox and he's like almost Sorry. the face of baseball. Oh no, this this is something we should talk about on the Saturday show. Um, yeah, th there has been a um a, a Rod and I. Uh, by the way. His name is Alex Rodriguez. We should stop on him, A-Rod. That is the publicity machine that I'm going to talk about. Um, he's had a – I, I noticed – Can I call him A-Sterod? 
<laughs> you can. You can. You. But but I the the thing that I noticed a couple years ago was and this was this is not lost on me because uh, my girlfriend and I we we do uh social media, we do uh you know media relations before that. So, I noticed there was a concerted push by Alex Rodriguez to get I I noticed some like, oh, here's A-Rod and he surprises a fan and and then I saw yeah. A-Rod and he's he's um he's at a high school uh like like a football field and somebody's running around the thing and he's giving him advice and I'm just like Hmm. These, these seem to be strategically placed in my timeline oh. of him being a good guy. So or, he's, yeah. yeah, he's been doing. He, this push has been going for quite a while. So I, I, I mean, he, I, I think our friend Ed is watching right now. He could be give you plenty of love, love slash hate for Mr. Alex Rodriguez. <laughs> yeah, and and I'm sure you it, could, it, I'll a comment any moment about this conversation. Well, I mean, it, it, it yeah. A Roids is gar- garbage. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I saw like A Roids. Thank you. I was calling A, a yeah, A Roids. Thank you. That's way easier than what I said. Yeah. <laughs> so that this is this will You're forever on. be my favorite play. Yep. <laughs> All right. So let's uh get to baseball uh card oh. pack wars. This is always a favorite time for us. I'm actually going to uh I have some uh packs that I'm gonna actually play for Daniel. So uh, right, when I go, I will actually go for him. And um, so, w- what are we going to do tonight? I, I figure we have uh, we have our we have big our big league. league and our pro debut, and then the okay. wild card. Yep, great. Exactly. So let me pick okay. out two of those. All right. So we actually have uh, a guest. I'm I'm excited because the guest uh, actually makes it really cool. interesting. I guess and even too, like last time I was on, I think I went like two for three. I think. I yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not that I remember or nothing like that, but uh, no. I, I believe it was two for three. Well, you'll see the record here in a second, I'm sure, to see how you <laughs> you was just as good as the other guests. Yeah, Colin I was going to have a big ball, and yes, I thought Colin. I was like, right. I'm like thinking, I'm like, That's you awesome. got the claw and start doing it. I'm like, God, either him or Baron Von Raschke, <laughs> the claw master. <laughs> All right, so here are the standings. So Kevin is pulled into first place oh, uh, with a wow, thirty and fifty-eight. Uh, I, uh, but I, I like to I like to think of this as batting average. So that he was a three forty-one yeah, average. A lot like yeah. batting averages. That's yeah. The only way it's gonna work. So Angelo's still in the hunt uh, with uh, twenty-five and sixty-one, and our guest uh, batting six hundred. So uh, maybe we can knock that down a little bit too. Like a pitch hit, like you get a couple of good pitch hits, and then your average is in the. In flame, That's it, so right? All right, so these are the baseball card pack wars rules. We're going to open our packs. A relic card knocks out one player of choice. Uh, Very interesting because you'll still have two players in in play. An autograph card knocks out two players, so actually one will be still active if we get an autograph. The high number card wins in round one and two. Uh, In the first and second round, you get one point. The third round is the wild card round. And uh, you get two points, and we all drink when we get a Brewers card. Yep. All right, and, so let's do it. And Cowboy Jack, I believe, is watching, so he's going to drink after every card. Yes, Cowboy Jack, you need to get back <laughs> in the hunt and uh, and uh, pull your weight. All right, all right so, um, yeah, let's, let's let Angelo go first. All right. All right. So we'll do uh, – let's start with Pro Debut. For all right. Chad M. You got it. Nothing like a fresh pack being opened. And I believe there's 200 cards in this set. What is the high number card here? All right. So Jeremy Pena. Quinn Priester. Oscar Gonzalez. And be sure to look for Brewers. Just to, just yes. to remind you. We got to be more observant on, on these. Cameron, these. Cameron Misner. Okay. The Idaho Falls Chuckars. Uh, yep. This is uh, Alec Marsh. Tristan Casas. Jake Sanford. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> dun, dun, Thank you. Uh-oh. Thank you. Uh-oh. Oh, that, that, that kicks- Media blackout. <laughs> well, we got Q-Nom. media blackout here. This game is not so well. <laughs> well, I'm trying to look up, uh, you know, the what the brewer teams are so I can get this ready for us. We've been shut oh. down. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, All right. So, so Kevin, you're up. On road, yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, oh, am I up? Oh, no. I was trying to like find. I play my Stanford and Son reference. Right. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here he goes back. Was David Dahl on uh, Sanford and Son? That was the last one. O'Neill Cruz. Oh, O'Neill Cruz. Technical difficulties. Who, who unfortunately was just in a car accident recently. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah, I found out about that. And actually, because I know him from the Arizona Fall League, which Daniel is wearing the Mesa Solar Socks. Ah, uh, that's there, uh, Last year, and I picked good. it up. I had to make a trip and, uh, you know, have to come home with, with something. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, I decided with uh, the you guys, with, uh, I know Michael's doing the whole minor league thing. I figured this is probably the next best thing. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Fall League. Great hidden secret. Right. I'm glad I have my Milwaukee Brewer teams ready just in case here. Because we have San Antonio, Biloxi, Carolina, Wisconsin, and the Rocky Mountain Vibes look for. So let's see what we got here. I have uh, Casey Mize from the Erie Seawolves. Number one pick. Yep. I was there. Yeah, that name rang a bell. Not Brian, but Brian with an M. Campusano on the St. Lucie Nets. Corbin Carroll from the a AZL Diamondbacks. From the Fort Myers Miracle, Chris Valimont. Speaking of Casey Mize, I got an insert of him. This is called this is the ready for flight of All him. Right. So that's insert, put that off the side there. From the Lakeland Flying Tigers, Brock <laughs> Deatheridge. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that's, Brock that's, Brock that's one of my favorite names. That Brock is fantastic. I have an auto of him. I'm so excited. Yeah. From the Kane County Cougars, who I went to game at last season, Blaze Alexander. I got like yeah. that name too. That's wow, another that's great name. <laughs> name right there. Oh, you got the all name team. Some bases. And from one of my favorite team names, the Montgomery Biscuits, Shane <laughs> McClanahan. I'm assuming, uh, you know, Rue's son, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> hope. I hope. <laughs> no, no, no. Thank you for calling me a friend. Yep, exactly. All right, so uh, I'll go first. This is uh, pro debut 2020, so I'll go first, and then I'll pick uh, Dan. Actually, I'm going to let the guests go first. So, Daniel, this one's for you. I'll show of you. Where, where are my manners? Uh, <laughs> the Lansing Lugnuts. This is Gabriel Moreno. Nice. Uh, the Everett Aqua Sox. This is George Kirby. There you go. I got solar socks on my head and then aqua socks right there. <laughs> the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes. This is Jacob Amaya. Grew up in Rancho Cucamonga, so that actually works out really well for me. There you go. Yeah. Uh, the AZL Rangers. This is uh, Josh Jung. I hear his name a lot, actually. Um, the Pensacola Blue Wahoos. This is a... Uh, a twins prospect that should be coming up pretty soon. Alex Kirilov. Well, that's an insert. It is an insert. Uh, what is it? The... That's, uh, that's also the team that was renting out their clubhouse. Yeah, right? I was, in, I was yeah. wondering if yeah. I went, yeah. actually went, went, yeah. uh, did I'll that. I'll get ready to pick it up if you guys didn't. Very good. Uh, Riley Green of the uh, GCL Tigers. Yeah. He's like, yeah. hey, hey. He's, he's, hey. he's, he's, he's hey. caught up. It's kind of a bad situation. All right. This is awesome. I'm so glad this happened. So this is from the Pulaski Yankees, which yeah. I am wearing the hat of today. Oh, oh my gosh. This is great. the $5 hat that I got from the Pulaski Yankees. Uh, this is uh, Antonio Cabello. All right. So there you go. Right. I don't think I would have even uh, known the Pulaski Yankees. Uh, for those who want to know, the Pulaski Yankees uh, are a minor league team. Actually, were a minor league team. Oh. Uh, they were advanced rookie league, and now they're in the Appalachian League, which is now oh. major league affiliated. So it's a collegiate summer league um, that's in Tennessee, Virginia, West Virginia, and North oh. Carolina. So major league baseball kind of took it over a little bit. And uh, I think they're going to rebrand. So that's why I got this hat for five bucks. That's interesting because so. Pulaski has had minor league teams in the past. I remember mm -hmm. having a character of Pulaski. I was thinking they were like in the New York Penn League. So I don't remember what league they were actually in before. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I, I just, I, I just saw it, and I'm just like five bucks. I mean, it's a cool yeah, hat, I, definitely. Yeah. And then, uh, Anth uh, oh, and another Pulaski Yankee. 
Oh my God. Uh, Anthony Volpe. There you How go. About that? Go figure. Well, nice let's pull. see if, uh, unfortunately, that's not your pack. That is not <laughs> my pack. <Yeah>. Exactly. <laughs> so this, so, this will be my pack. Cards, technically. <laughs> <laughs> Contest, you know. Cowboy Jack. Oh, you flattery flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> take, hey, you know what? Cowboy Jack, take a drink for that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep drinking. Keep oh, drinking. Motivation for that. Yeah. All right. The Jupiter Hammerheads. This is JJ oh, Blade. That's great. Hey, that's a okay. cover boy of the packs. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Uh the Portland Sea Dogs. Uh Jaron yeah. Duran. Duran Duran. Oh, Duran. <laughs> That's your kind of card right there. One of my favorite teams. <laughs> One of my favorite yeah. bands, actually. Uh, yeah. Alex Man Alec Manoa from the uh, Vancouver Canadians. Oh, very nice. I was hoping his last name was Depeche. That be <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, this is Gerard Encarnacion. Actually, it, um, he actually is he's with the Jupiter Hammerheads. It actually nice. he actually is related to. Uh, Juan Encarnacion, if I'm not mistaken, we actually I think we looked this up. Okay, not Edwin or Edwin. Did I say? Okay, did I say I'm Juan? Sure. Juan. Okay. I'm thinking Juan because Juan was a cardinal. There you go. Okay. Uh, of course. <laughs> Matt <laughs> Cantorino <laughs> from the GCL Twins. All right. Uh, this is Del Hall from the Frederick Keys. And uh, jo Josh Smith from the Staten Island Yankees. Wait, wait, wait! I, isn't that the team that is the Staten Island uh, Pizza Rats? They, 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 they are the same. Okay. That's Nolan Jones from a team you know, Kevin, the Akron Rubber Ducks. There you yes, go. There you a go. Years back. Yep. Okay, so uh, let's go, Angelo. What's your high card? Uh, Oscar Gonzalez from the Akron Rubber Ducks. Nice. Is one eighty eight. Oh, that's up there. Yeah, you definitely got me beat. Mine is Casey Mize from the Erie Seawolves, number 150. All right. So, come oh. Come on. Come on. So, uh, oh, let me uh, switch this here real quick. Yeah, please. Get the camera so, off. Daniel's high card is 175. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Just off. And uh, I don't have to go any further. J.J. Bladé. 185. Yeah. Wow. Uh, that was a close one. Leading off. But, you know, you, you pulled an Azorena, Azorena right there. <laughs> exactly. I, I, won't, I won't stumble going home, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, All right. So, uh, All right, Big right. League Baseball is next. So, we'll just. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Winner start. He already opened. What's... It's good. Go ahead. All right. All right. Go ahead. I was like, oh, I thought sorry. Was sorry. But you already opened it. So you already you opened it. You go. Okay, sorry about that. Bye, pal. Hey, hey, I'm bro, trying to do pal. too many. Th I'm trying to do too many things at once. <laughs> Spinning. No, i just. I, I have this right here, so I'm gonna put. I'll put this right here. Go go for it, Kevin. Uh -oh, I'll put uh, it right there. Angela, sir, you're the winner. Oh, sorry, Angela. All right. Come on, be the twins and the Braves in 1991. Where's the first? Come on. Oh, we'll make a run. I just want some brewers for bubble pipes. You know and what? I know all our <laughs> Nothing yeah, you know. over that round. Wilson Contreras. <laughs> Willie Adamas. Oh, might get his first championship this week. Angels hey. highlights. This is That's uh, a high card too. This is the this right. is the this is the combination. No, no, that is a high yep. card. By the way, you're going to win with that card. <laughs> was it, was that, would you get the Tyler Skaggs no-no, the, the one after his uh, passing? Yeah, this is the combined no-no, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Pena yeah, and uh, yeah. Derek Cole. Yep. You guys 100%. were both there that game. Yep. Eddie Rosario. Anthony Rizzo. Insert Bryce Harper roll call. All right. Uh, orange parallel stolen base leaders. We have Malik right. Smith, Adalberto Mondesi, ah. and Jonathan Villar. I was going to see a brewer in there, but oh well. That's brewer, right. save, <laughs> saves leader, uh, AL, Roberto Asunia, ah. Aroldis oh. Chapman, and yeah, Brad NL. Hill. NL. And that would have been probably a hater, yep. Yeah. Uh-oh, we lost Michael. Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, we'll Kyle Seeger. We'll keep going. And Matthew Boyd. Well, I can tell you right now, you probably already won because I've never getting that angel card already in this series, and that's like 298 or 299, right? Was it it's 299. Yeah, there's uh, 300, 300 huh? in the set. What's the kill card? What's 300? Three, I don't remember what 300 is in that set. I have it. I, I remember I got it. I think it's Akuna, but don't quote me on that. But 
Well, let's see if I can even contend here. Uh, oh, yeah, I got a play up here. Austin Meadows, who is in the World Series right now. We'll see how he does here. Oh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Oh, get your beers ready, ladies and gentlemen. We got Orlando Garcia. Hey, hey, Michael's back just in time. Even though Angelo got the second highest card in the set, so. <laughs> Good luck beating him. I have the American League walks leaders. Unfortunately, it's ALL. So, no worries there. I just got one, Belvog. I'm doing my best here. Uh, Francisco Lindor. Cheers, everyone out there. Uh, second baseman, Ryan McMahon. Not that McMahon, Cowboy Jack. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, my orange insert is Jeff. Samarja. 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 I know I'm kidding. Next I do that every game wide receiver. That's pretty good back then. Um, so you got a Bryce Harper insert. I did too. I got the flipping out of Bryce Harper. There it is right there. Sweet. Uh, let's see here. National League innings pitch leader. Unfortunately, it's not any Brewers. It's Strasburg, Nola, and DeGrom. And lastly, D. Gordon. No in and out shoes there. <laughs> All right. All right, Michael. You got two packs open. Good luck. All right. So uh, I will I will take this one. And uh, next one is Daniel. So let me do this. <clears throat> so Jacob DeGrom. Get your beers ready, oh. Christian Yelich. Yeah. Cheers, Yelly. Well, Angel's really liking that that creamsicle. Yeah, he is. I'm Starling Marte. That. that was a lot. That was the last sit, brother. <laughs> and he got no Brewers three coming. So he has but I got, him. but I got number three right here. Oh, yep. We'll open it up. Angel up. DH, Jock Peterson. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. In an alternate universe. Why bring that up? Joey Votto. That's not okay. The American League batting leaders. Uh, our batting average leaders so Tim Anderson, DJ LeMahieu, and Yoan Moncada. Uh, my orange insert is uh, Carlos Carrasco. All right, uh, Raphael Devers insert, Open out, yeah. Mitch Garver, and oh, Tony Shohei. Yeah, Yay. all right. So, and then here is Daniel's pack. All right. I actually hey, put my cards on my keyboard and it, it knocked me off the air. It's weird. You almost need the kill card here. You need the kill card. <clears throat> Eduardo Escobar. Raphael Devers. Or a relic or an, in, or an autograph to win this. Uh, big League's best. Uh, hits leaders, uh, Albies, Marte, Arenado. Ah, I was hoping for a yellow much. there. Yeah. Uh, Tim Anderson. This is actually, I think, I think this one's a uh, a variance potentially. This is pretty cool. Show, showing the bicep. I think this is, um, yeah, this is one of the rare cards potentially in this because wow. on the back, it, yeah, on the back it's kind of got different writing on it. So uh, Justin Verlander. We'll have to tweet out later if it turns out something mm -hmm. different. Jordan Yamamoto. The orange uh, parallel is uh, Willie Adames. Which I believe Angel uh, got this. Yeah, I, that yeah, I got the Insert right. Mike Trout, defensive nice. wizard. There you go. Hey, there now. Uh, Mike Clevenger. Oh, and three, three, Brendan uh, Rogers. Three, All right. So, uh, Angel, Angel you want to show that 299? 299. <laughs> I already got that card in this in this, knows, in this show, so I know I knew I saw like oh he won this and no one got a Cunha that's three hundred yeah so you know what's funny my Vlad Junior is two ninety five oh wow I would have won most weeks but you got me can yeah. can uh, either of our Michael packs pull it nope. off Let's see nope. two forty and two fifty nine so. Oh. Out, right Here we go, Angelo. Yeah, Angelo on a hot streak. You got to learn this in five. It didn't win for your World Series pick. The, the, the problem is, I've never won when it counted. So you, <laughs> hey, you can call me 
the Atlanta Braves and the Buffalo Bills. Wow. Baseball card basketball. Hey, you know what? Hey, Worst you like that callback? You like that callback? Yeah. 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 The Buffalo Braves. Wow. Worst case, you're two and two this week. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, go four. And two so of us stip- are going to go on four. So stipulation. Um, have we done low card yet? I think so. I think okay. so. I think we've tried that. Okay. okay. So let's do, we did, let's do, um, trying to think of one that we can easily. One I'm thinking of just because, you know, we have a, a cavalcade of angel fans here. Let's go, uh, AL West players. All right. That's cool. I'll go for that. That's AL, fine. AL West. Four AOS, AOS, you have, current, you current, yeah. uh, AOS teams, right? Current AOS teams. For your card. For your card. I was going to clarify. If I pull like an <laughs> AOS out, it's the old AOS, which might give you an advantage because more teams in the AOS then. All right. So I got, got archives. All the archives. All right. Good luck. So AOS. Not starting off good. Tim Anderson. Well, well, well now, uh, I'll say back in like 1955, no, that's the West then. <laughs> Paul DeYoung. AO West. Marco Gonzalez. Seattle Mariners. Cattell Marte. NO West. Oh, I'm say wrong West. <laughs> Eric wrong West. West again. <laughs> NO West, you would win this thing. Uh, we got Michael Chavez. Wilson Contreras. Uh oh. And AOS Justin Dunn. There you go. Oh, too. Very good. I remember at one time the uh the Minnesota Twins were in the AL West. I, Back in the 80s. Yeah. They were. I mean it was the Twins and the Royals. Go for it, Kevin. Twins, Royals, and the Rangers. I can't remember. It was like seven or eighteen back in there. Yeah. That number to two. beat is two. Two. Is oh, to beat. I got get ready. We got two for here. Okay. Night to Flair Ultra. Speaking of the Twins and the Royals being AL West, this counts. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I, I'm going to sense a very ugly cavalcade of baseball players here. All right, here we go. Are we ready? First up, AL West, Jay Buhner. Look at that. Oh, wow. Nice. Jay yeah. Buhner. Let's talk some Seinfeld there. Some Jay Buhner. There's one. <laughs> Next. Pat, don't call me Isla Borders, catcher for the Toronto Blue Jays, only AL East. Uh, oh, George, former Blue Jay, but unfortunately he's on. I didn't know he played on the Cubs. George Bell, George right. Taco Bell, famously called by Chris Berman. That's that's also the uh, uh, Pat uh, Doctors Without Borders. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Uh, I believe this is, uh, oh no, no, it's NOS, not AOS. See, this is where it comes up. Daryl Kyle, Astros. Yep. Nope, yep. not in 1992. Oh, wow. I lost one there. Uh, New York Mets, Tim Burke. Uh, Michael, are you, ready to, are you ready to tell a story? <laughs> sure. Because look at this guy right here. Oh, look at that. My my uh, baseball high school uh, teammate. Oh wow! He would have been really young there. Yeah. That that would be a rookie card. For all I yeah. Know. Well, he was. Uh, it was right after I think it was with the Phillies. I mean, this is '92. Phillies, so. Orioles. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty early in his career. Oh, and because this is '92, this is an AL West card. I love the only two I got so far. One of the only two I got so far is this guy right here, Kansas City Royals. It counts. AL West, yeah. Terry Jumpert. That's AL West player. And speaking of, another AOS player would not be AOS now. Melita Perez, the Chicago White Sox. I believe we're AOS in 1992. See this, this canary I'm gonna, here. Uh, uh, hey, I'm going to have to verify that. You can look it up. <laughs> I thought it was, it was today. I thought we were doing today. Go ahead, because I know. Not, what? I thought we were doing AOS today, right? I did call AOS today. Ah. <sighs> So you're, so you you're going to give me so on that technicality? Two. Okay, so then you know two. what? There's you have one two. Astro that counts. That was a whole and deal. here's another Astro that counts. I still have three either way. Okay, right? You do have three either way. <laughs> Bam, slam it on the table. So there you go. I have three either way. Fine. You want to count currently. 
All right, uh, Giants, Mike Felder. Hall of Famer, The Wizard of Oz. Eh, this guy. Well, I was a Hall of Fame back here except for this guy. Mm -hmm. Because I said that because of this next guy here. Who is and, it? Oh, here we go. California Angel pitcher, Chuck Ooh. Attain. Right four. there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing I'm using all the Jim Rome nicknames today. And lastly, another Hall of Famer, John Smoltz. That's a Hall of Fame back right there. Nicely done. Well, these cards so, are worth anything, but a lot of Hall of Famers in there. Yeah. All right. Most importantly, four AL West players. You do. All right. So this is my pack out of the bag. All right. Woohoo. 1992. Woo let me get uh, put myself. Oh uh, no, the other <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're on the same standard as me, sir. Have 1992. All right. <clears throat> so uh, I will uh, pull big league uh, for Daniel. All right, let's do this. Oh, these things are <laughs> brutal. Yeah, I know. It's brutal. All I, right, I, so I, this I, is upper deck. Wow, Dale Murphy as a uh, as a Philly. Oh, Philly! Oh my <laughs> goodness! Wow. Awesome. Ricky Bones as a brewer. Drink up. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're still doing Let's that. Because <laughs> I froze because he was in the AL West then, but it doesn't count because we're talking now. Right. Greg yeah. Swindell. Ooh, Greg Swindell. All right. I've never heard. Mar oh, I actually have heard. Mark Carrion. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that okay, great picture. I think it's a pretty good part. <laughs> is, that, is that the uh, okay. the the posed model uh, series right yeah exactly yep. so eddie murray on the mets wow that's cool. 400 home that's run a club cool card. that's a cool card though yeah totally right on uh mike morgan what team's he on because he's on like 10 teams Cubs. Oh. Cubs. yeah Cubs. god i was on the uh, al west for you colorado rocky so this was uh what year was wow it? wait what they weren't even 90, 90, 92 upper deck 92 90, so they would have been 93 so it's like it doesn't even have like the regular so the next year oh, so who is it ryan, ryan turner, turner. Wow. Like a hot wow. prospect for that's I'm interesting assuming. you must have been like a first expansion draft pick or something Maybe. Maybe so the, guy. this is this is interesting let's see if i know this one the rookie threats uh, for the Cardinals that year. Uh, I only wow. recognize Brian Jordan in the middle. Wow. Who are the other two? Does it say on the back? Got it, right? Uh, Brian Jordan. Oh, Donovan Osborne and uh, Mark Clark, which I don't think he made it. Yeah, Donovan so, Osborne's a pitcher. He was pretty good. Mike Hartley. Signed his one autograph for the entire season right there. <laughs> uh, Randy Tomlin, right? Oh my Damn. god. Yeah, I'm like nothing here, man. Damn. All these cards. Scott Sanderson? Yeah, I know. Oh my god. You went cold. Darren Jackson? Yeah. I don't think I'm going to win here. Oh, uh, here you go. Ray a, a, a very underrated cardinal. Uh Ray Langford. Ray Langford, yeah. Good player. Very good player. Roberto Hernandez. And uh fi finally. Uh, Jim Abbott. Hey. Jim Abbott. Oh, nice. There All right. Big nice. That's actually really cool. That's, that's a, really a really cool card. card. That's awesome. We actually, card. actually got his yeah. autograph. He was at uh, Inland Empire. Yeah, yeah. we. Yeah, we were there three years ago. Yeah, we were there. Yeah, we were there too. I wish I got my my ball head sign, but oh well, it's all right. All, all right. So, right so this is for Daniel. So like, I can't win. Right. I got nothing. <laughs> Yeah, you got one. <laughs> what, is, what is it? The four, four, is, what, four. Yeah, I got four. Okay. So Vlad Junior. If, if this was Vladimir Guerrero Senior, senior you would have been fine. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, this is Montreal. Arcia Brewer. Oh, let's go. Drink up if you still got him. That's the same one I got <laughs> earlier. Lindor. Oh, I, uh, this is my good. pack. <laughs> Ryan McMahon. This is my pack so far. Uh, strikeout leaders: Degrom, Strasburg, That's my, Scherzer. My exact facts. <laughs> Peralta. Not that one because that's an insert. So Ramon. one, he's on the board. Ramon Laureano. Hey, yeah, there we go. Uh, he is on the board twice. Hey, D Gordon. Two, D Gordon. All right. 
I got see that's another card from my pack. How funny! If this was uh, 1980, uh, you would have been uh, had <laughs> twins, Josh Donaldson. That's what you get for him altering the rules. There you and go. NL Central, Colton Wong. So uh, you, Wong. You, you guys all have oh, two? two. I have four. I got two. You have four. You Kevin got, Lyon. Yeah. I I I, I, I got three. Two. Buffalo Sorry, Braves right. once again, right here. Yeah, there you go. So close. Yeah, so still the guest. Good job. And it's only about one card, too. Two awesome. cards. I had two. Yeah. Well, that was that was definitely fun as always. Let me uh, share my screen real quick. Yeah, that's. I mean, uh, well, Daniel, whenever you get some uh, packs, let us know because we'll let yeah, you jump uh, in again. Uh, after, that's, uh, after this, after this, uh, Michael just text me what packs I need. I'll go out and find them tomorrow. So. Well, see, the I thing know. is, like, uh, I think you can play with any any. You'll just play with the packs that well, you have. So the, we're not going to try and match one. them. You know. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll there's, go out. There's and... a limited amount of stuff at targets, but it's really limited now from what I've seen. Yeah. Or me too. I remember the first time I went, it was really limited. So yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll definitely start looking in the the packs and seeing what's yeah. out there and start grabbing some and. Yeah. Just hit us up and tell you what we're working on, and just you know you can probably find this stuff at your local card shop because we right, want to exactly. support our small businesses during this obviously exactly yeah no, that makes okay. and that makes perfect sense like if you know if you have a certain card set i can at least i mean the, you know what's the worst that can happen they don't have it okay whatever i'll get the next yeah. best yeah. thing absolutely exactly. I mean, all right so let's end it out with some baseball trivia we're going to test your knowledge of baseball so this is a oh. game of who am i uh this is from baseball's best 1000 the greatest players of all time by derek gentile now just by the clues we're going to ask you who am I talking about? So these are the teams that the player was with. He started with the Giants, went to the Mets, Padres, actually an angel in 77. If you notice here, he was actually in, with four teams in 77. Uh, with the <laughs> Yankees, around, the huh? Cubs, the Mets, wow. and ended with the Athletics. Wow. Born in Pendleton, Oregon. Uh, the highlights were there was a three-time All-Star two-time NL home run leader, a college world, uh, world series champ with the university of Southern California, which I was not even aware of, uh, in 1970. So, uh, do you, uh, in the comments, uh, guess who this player is? Uh, wow. it is one of the 1000 greatest players, uh, according wow. to this book, uh, which actually has been pretty accurate as I've been, we've been going wow. through this their stats pretty much line up to the numbers that they're uh, uh, at. They're at. So um, you might have finally got me, Michael. You might oh have boy, me. I love it. <laughs> finally got me. Yeah. I'm, Cowboy I'm, Jack, I'm, you are wrong. Conan. But you know the home run leader eight two and he make the All Star team. I'm like, what? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Ooh. I love it. I love it when I yeah. when I stump Kevin. I know I've done something. <laughs> yeah, if you stump Kevin, you definitely stump me because I've not missed any of these yet. So Man, that's I don't know. Like... I, you know the the, the seventy seven thing is so crazy. The from the Mets to the Padres to the Angels to the Yankees is like wow. Wait, I might I might have it. I think okay. I got it. Yeah. I think I got it. I so Angela, I like have. Daniel admitted on the Saturday show that he's also have. the young guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. This guy was. Not even playing when I was alive. So there goes that. I, I got a joke ready for you if I'm right on who it is. But I don't know for sure on this. I don't know for sure on this one. Yeah, I don't have an idea. I'm pretty sure I know, Nothing. but I don't know Nothing. this guy being an angel. But okay, if it's so what I think it is, his best role of his career involves Tommy Lasorda. Yes, yes. You're, 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 right. you, you, you got oh, it. Oh, Kevin you, might have right. it. Yeah. Then. So right. uh, Chad M says Reggie Jackson. That's a great guess. Yeah. Um, if you're keying in on the home runs, uh, it's a very clear one. So um, this guy was known for monster, monster home runs. That's, so, that's all he's known for in home runs. Yeah, <laughs> he that's all he was known for. He wasn't known for anything else but oh, home runs. Four teams in a year. It's either he hit a home run or he struck out. So that's why Rich is a good guest. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great guest. Yeah. Cow. Man. So um, any more Kevin. guesses? Kevin, I would I, go. I would go ahead. I, I have no idea. So, why don't you ask Tommy Lasorda what he thinks of this guy? You know, there's a famous clip of Dave Kingman. Oh. Where he hit, <laughs> he's not batting average. 
But look at the home run. Wow, he, yeah, he was an angel. I didn't know that. Yeah, I know the name. Angel. I know the name, but it's just like, wow, he was an angel. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah. So, Michael, can you put in the the reference playlist the top yeah. of the sort of clip, yeah. please? There was a so game the- where you had eight home runs against the Dodgers in a game, and the reporter had the the idiocracy or whatever to ask. Tommy, what do you think of Dave Kingman's performance? And Tommy went on like one of the all-time like he he melted down. Oh, he melted down. There's so many profanities. It was it's a classic clip. He's like, what do you think I think of his bleep performance? I thought I was bleeping horse bleep. You know, it's like yeah, oh my god, yeah, classic Tommy Yeah, cla- that's, why, was, that's why I made me realize like oh my god, Dave Kingman. Yeah, like uh, like. Of course, he had a great game. Like, what, what, like, what do you want me to say? <laughs> like, and uh, yeah, exactly. Like, what do you want me to? Say? Yeah, King Kong. Thank that's you. Right, King Kong. <laughs> yeah, that was that was his uh, nickname, and that's all he was known for. Is he either like hit a like? There's this one. I, I mean, he hit this <laughs> average. Oh my gosh! I know his average is like ridiculous. Oh wow! Oh. Two, three, I just saw that right now. Two, three, yeah, six. yeah. Wow. It, it, it's <laughs> look at this. Eighty-five solar bases. How did yeah. that happen? Yeah, that's yeah. early in his career. I bet. I bet. I guess so. like in the first, like, but I mean, look at that. Four to forty-two career. home runs, fifty yeah. hundred hits. One every four hits was a home run. That's pretty crazy too. It seems like you know. Yeah. Wow. So Yeah. So like more more a uh, infamous player than a famous player, but um, yeah. but yeah, a, a great player. All right. So let's go to uh, number two here. All right. Uh, this player uh, started with the Mets. Uh, went to the Yankees, Indians, Astros, Devil Rays, and then uh, actually it was three teams in the 2000s: Astros, mm-hmm. Devil Rays, and Yankees. Which I, I, I think I remember at the end. Uh, four-time All Star, three-time World Series champ, uh, NL Cy Young Award winner in '85, uh, Rookie of the Year in '84, uh, Wins Leader '85, uh, ERA Leader '85. This was a, a great player, born in Tampa. Um, yeah, had a no sorry. hitter I, I in '96. Sorry, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm, my nose is acting up. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so sorry. So that means he had a no hitter with the Yankees. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. There's an obvious hint I won't give away as well. Because yet I'll just say he has another famous player in his family. Who? Famous player in his family. I don't want to say more than that because it's been alluded to before on this show. Oh wow. Oh. Yeah. You're actually throwing him off the scent, actually, Kevin. I, think I know. I, one. I am <laughs> it's not a brother. I can say that. That might yeah. make it more obvious, though. Yeah. Oh. oh, man. Wait, now, you guys, now, if I if, I know you guys are the young guys on the show, but you guys but should you know, know this I'm, player. You know who this that's, is. That's, you know what? And that's the crazy part about this is, like, you look at it and you're like, man, who is that? Who's that? And then, you and then Michael ends up saying who it is. That. You're like, oh, my God. How did I not know yeah, uh, that. Like, if, were, if, if this was J.R. Richard, you, I, I would go like, I get it. Like it, he was yeah, a, right, a kind right, of a right. flash, but this guy was like, you know, the real deal. And maybe if I was, and obviously we saw his photo earlier because he was on the A6 Mets team. We saw his photo earlier today. Oh, no crap. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, he's a pitcher on the 86 Mets team. So come on. Come on. I wasn't alive in 86. Dang, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I'd say that's no excuse. With the internet, yeah, you know. can look up. A, you know. can watch like, a lifetime of stuff. I, I'm just thinking, like, if you think, of 80, if you think of, like, one of the best pitchers of the 80s, I'm like, he's there. But, I mean, it's not Roger Clemens, but. <laughs> you win. Good job, Jack. Yeah, that's it. Top, top, top of the Bobby. Midnight Express. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful Bobby. Beautiful yeah, Bobby. I would think this man is beautiful, like beautiful Bobby, or he's a lover boy, <laughs> like lover boy Dennis, but <laughs> <laughs> lover yeah. boy Dennis. This guy had, you know, he had a degree in baseball. I could say that, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the whoa. That's a great, that's a great clue, actually. You like that? You, yeah, yeah, he had a Nick E O. It says you may have seen him panhandling oh, in the boy. streets, which is <laughs> oh, that's bad. Well, I know it's not West, which actually it, could be J.R. Richard. Thank you. It is J.R. Richard. That's, is it Doc? That was more J.R. Richard's story yeah. than uh, is it this Doc? Guy. Although yeah. this guy did get busted again for like cocaine or drugs in the last few yeah. years, this guy's had a life long yeah, problem. I had a, a very um, yeah, it's, is yeah, it, is it very colorful guy, career. Uh, the talk then, right? Yeah. A- any any yeah. guess, Angelo? You said it. 
Um, strictly based on the the accolades and the 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 team he spent the most time with, I would agree with Daniel and say Doc. Yeah, well, Doctor K. Of course. You are absolutely yeah, correct. Absolutely. All right. It, so, it so when you... with Gary Sheffield. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you definitely yeah. threw the scent off on that, but not. For I know, me because, I, I know. But, but not <laughs> talked about it before. That's what's funny though. Yeah, talked about the, the reason why that that conversation is memorable is the card you have of Gary Sheffield. Yes. Was with Gary Sheffield on the Stockton Ports. Exactly. That's, That's right. why I brought it up. That's right. I, it, my, yeah, as I say, I was hoping to throw you on the scent, not off. I the forgot that they were related. Actually, I, I remember hearing that, and then. I, for whatever reason, I forgot it, but then when you mentioned it, I was like, oh, that's right. See, that's what's crazy. I found that out because I went to a baseball card show to meet Doc Gooden in, like, 1988. Or after the 87 season, and like, oh, oh I was being Doc Gooden. Like, oh, his, ne his nephew is signing. This is Gary Sheffield. <laughs> I'm like, okay, and I ran to a dealer who had my early cards, and I bought a set of the 1987 Stockton sock boards so I can get the Gary Sheffield card signed by him. I'm like, oh, this guy might be good. <laughs> Maybe one block, day you never but, know. Yeah. But look well, at, he's look, like at one those, look at those Sheffield. He's like one of the guys when you're growing up, like when I was growing up. Yeah. His batting stance, his batting, you know, the waggle of the bat. That's like something you always emulated, like you know, playing in the backyard with yeah. you know, with my brother or with friends yeah. or whatever. You're always like, Yeah, I could do that, but because it just was so numbers. different for everyone else. Nowadays, that's almost all of fame numbers. Look at that. Yeah. yeah. Right. You know, that's I a mean, really good loss percentage and ERA is great and two, almost 20 there in strikeouts. My gosh, you know. Hey, man, that's, you know, playing on cocaine, that'll that'll get you those numbers. <laughs> in the words of Dave Chappelle, yeah. cocaine's a hell of a drug. Hell of a drug. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. But I mean, like, 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 look at that. I mean, not to say that if he didn't do that, he his stats would have been better, Sweet but, games. um, look at that. but games. I think they would have been, I think he would have, you know, maybe a hundred yeah, more not, wins. Yeah, I'm definitely not discounting, but yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just like 68 complete games. I'm just thinking like now that is like, nuts. I'm like, that's crazy. So, you know, yeah. Yep. A three in the season, let alone, you know, 68 yeah. over a career. I mean, that's he, well, See, that's the thing, though. He had a noodle of an, of an arm, but he was probably high as all hell. So <laughs> you couldn't even tell. I, I bet you, like, so managers hilarious. these days wouldn't even want, you know, their pitchers to oh, go, yeah, you know, definitely. this long. So yeah, um, this probably, yeah, this, I mean, amazing dominant. stats. He was so dominant in that, in that mid-80s. Yeah, for yep, sure. Absolutely. So that is the show for today. Obviously, uh, please... Uh, you know, actually, let me, before I get ahead of myself, thank you. Uh, please like, and subscribe. Um, we're on all these, uh, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, uh, Instagram, uh, YouTube, please give us a like and a follow, uh, Daniel, uh, please plug the all angels podcast. How can we, uh, hear that and, uh, subscribe to it? Yeah, obviously anywhere you listen to podcasts, you can probably find us at All Angels Podcast. Um, you know, the big ones obviously being um the iOS system, so Apple Podcasts and Spotify. But uh yeah, well, you know, with the with the off season kind of going on right now, obviously you have the World Series, but for the Angels, their off season is going on right now. Um, you know, we're trying to do like one per week, you know, maybe one every other week, just kind of depending on how the news goes. But um but yeah, you can find us anywhere at uh, you listen to podcasts. But yeah, definitely check us out on Spotify or iOS. And if you are an Apple person, please uh, subscribe, rate, and review. It helps us when you rate and review our podcast. Kind of um, be easier to search, and for for Angel fans in the future that they want to look for an Angel podcast, it, it's one of the first ones that pop up. So um, if you do subscribe, please rate and review and help us kind of uh, spread the word. You know, that, uh, and also uh, Daniel and Johnny were on our Saturday show. We've actually started a Saturday show um, and probably I should more accurately call it a weekend show. Yeah. So uh, we're going to try to get on on the weekend so we can just, just talk baseball and uh, have a beer and and, uh, and get it going. If Kevin and Angelo can join, uh, we definitely welcome them. Uh, but uh, we did actually started it uh, last week. So it's the uh, beer baseball hoppy hour. Uh, and and uh, look for that uh, uh, this weekend. And so we'll definitely have everybody on. 
we definitely love supporting the people that support us and uh, all angels podcast halo haven has been supportive since day one and and we definitely want to uh boost everybody up and get everybody's uh, pad everybody's stats as it were <laughs> uh when it comes to doing this it's uh it's a labor of love but you know we definitely want to um uh promote and 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 make sure that everybody knows about everything that's going on and uh is there anything coming up with the all angels podcast that you guys are doing you know, we are um we are we are pretty close to our 200th episode so we're kind of working um i'm working on kind of figuring out what i want that to be as far as like a 200th episode um you know but you know as soon as especially the angels as soon as they get a gm and 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 people start signing here and there uh we'll definitely be on way more and then we'll probably pull in um friends of the podcast like obviously if you're you're watching this uh you saw gooby and, and a photo that michael had we've had him on before we could have him on again and then even uh red bollinger the the Angels brought uh, beat writer for MLB.com. He'll probably come on once free agent starts. So, uh, you know, we still have a lot of kind of plates moving right now and trying to get interviews with players. And But, you know, we're trying to bring it all during the offseason to kind of keep the Angel fans um, entertained during this slow time as a, as a baseball fan. So uh, nothing really set in stone yet, but we do have a lot of opportunities coming up. So obviously subscribe so you don't miss anything. Great. Uh, Angelo, anything to plug? Yeah, so nothing really to plug, but again, a, a sincere thank you to all our loyal viewers and subscribers, Bubble Pug, Chad M, uh, uh, David, Colin, um, Ed, uh, all you guys. Say thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to, to, to sit and hang out with us. That's literally all we're doing is just hanging out, talking baseball, drinking beer. Uh, today's episode 26, significance of episode 26 is a normal, uh, regular season uh, for the MLB is 26 yeah. weeks. So we've yeah. lasted a full regular season oh. of MLB and we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for you guys. We're about to go. get in the playoffs, not that an abbreviated 60 game season. <laughs> but uh, as I look back on, you know, kind of where we started and, and where we are now, uh, I mean, it's just as fun as it was on day one. And a huge part is uh, thanks to you guys and, and you loyal viewers and subscribers. So thank you guys. Keep watching. And, uh, um, yeah, it's, it's been, it's been awesome. And I can't wait to, to do another 26 more. hundred percent. Mike Trout episode next week then, huh? 27. There you go. No, oh, that would be, yeah. Uh, <laughs> hey, we hey, we're, hey, we're, we're, we're going to need some, we're going to need some, uh, off season ideas because yeah. uh, this day in baseball history might be yeah. uh, pretty bleak <laughs> for the next, uh, <laughs> for the next several weeks. Also, um, you can catch me on a future episode, upcoming episode of the all angels podcast, hit, hit Daniel, because I need a little boost so yeah. I can win that wild card round. <laughs> You got two today, so I think wow. me being here at least helped partially on that. You know, I got to win where it counts, though. Thing, you got you two today. You went 500, so all right? You and I went 500, all right? So you're yeah. good. <laughs> Kevin, anything to plug? First off, if you listen to all these podcasts, I also enjoyed the interview with uh, Ty's wife. That was a good interview oh, as well. Yeah, 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 she was awesome. Yeah, that was a good interview. Uh, for myself, if you want to see what I'm getting into on Twitter and Instagram, uh, you can find me at Lock and Lowell. That's L O K N L O L L. Otherwise, I know it's a broken record, but I say it every single week. Support your local brewery. But, you know, you know, regardless of where it is around you, support them. We want them to stick around. Your major league team's going to be there regardless. Look up where your major league team is, or it, what Daniel's doing today. AFL, hey, you know, they're not going to be running. We we want them to stay around too. Find a smaller team of baseball that could use our support. More Major League Baseball. Obviously, yeah. the world's keeps going on. They're fine. There's a lot of deals to be had too. Obviously, I got a five dollar hat. This is a, <laughs> this is a, an amazing hat. It, it fits me perfectly and it yeah. looks cool. Uh, like it. Five bucks. So it's like they have a lot of deals out there. So uh, I, unfortunately, we will not see you at the brewery. We'll not see you at the ballpark. Uh, but we will see you this weekend on the beer baseball hoppy hour and uh, next week uh, Tuesday at. 6 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time. Thank you so much, Daniel, Kevin, Angelo. We'll see you next week. Good night.